Okay, welcome, welcome everybody to another um, boot camp, Forex boot camp. Today is February the 17th, the year 2014. Can't believe this year is going by so fast. We're in the second month of the year. And I tell you, a lot of great things are going to be happening this year for everybody that takes action, who implements the strategies, who practices, and um, gets serious about their trading journey. Um, as for myself, I got some exciting information I want to share with you guys today. So um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to, um, you know, give a thumbs up and uh, hit the bell button. That way you get, you know, notifications of when I do these uh, trainings. I do them once a week um, on t at 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So every Saturday is when I do the boot camp. So let me now do a quick screen share. All right. And show you. What I want to talk about today. All right. So basically, we're going to go back to my website. Um, and again, my website address is um, wellsmanteyer.com. I'm going to go ahead and type it in for you guys right here. That way you guys can see what it looks like. So wellsmanteyer.com. I may change that to another uh, domain name. So stay tuned for that. But if you could type in wellsmanteyer.com, it'll take you directly to my website. And here you have a lot of resources. If you're a beginner trader, an intermediate trader, or even an advanced trader, there's a lot of resources that you could take advantage of on my website. So you want to bookmark my website and come back often because I put a lot of value and I put a lot of content onto my website. So if one of the things that I want to talk about today, if I do a quick refresh, it's going to redirect me back to my site. Um, I want to talk about something that I'm really, really excited about. Uh, I finally got published. Ladies and gentlemen, I finally got published, meaning I wrote my first ebook. <laughs> I wrote my first ebook, and you can go ahead and purchase it on my website um, by clicking on this link right here, purchase my ebook. All right. And when you do that, let me know you made the purchase because I have a gift for you. If you purchase my ebook um, by clicking on this link, you, it'll take you to Amazon. So Amazon is actually um, publishing the book, They're, um, and they'll give you instant access to the book once you purchase the ebook. All right, and when you do that, and um, I'm gonna put this up real quick. Um, I wanna make sure that, yeah, you can see the screen. I am sharing the screen, but let me put this up here and share this as well, because I got a gift for you. If you decide to purchase the ebook, all right, where is my controls? Hold on. Okay. Stop sharing, I'm gonna share something else here. And this is what I want to share. And we'll make this bigger. Okay. So if you purchase the ebook, this is the gift that I'm going to give you guys. Okay. It basically says if you buy the ebook, I'm going to also send you another ebook absolutely free called The Ten Essentials. Of forex trading okay this is a really good book for beginners but it's also a great read for those that are wanting to do a refresher right the step-by-step -step guide on how to get started in the forex in your forex journey so let me see if i can make this bigger for you guys edit the font and we'll make it here okay so yeah so just um by purchasing my ebook, you're gonna get a free, another free ebook, and just absolutely free. And all you gotta do is just email me proof that you bought the ebook, and I will send you another ebook absolutely free. You'll send an email proof to material um, you send an email proof to metrofxtraders at gmail.com, subject line, I purchase your ebook. Um, and then you're gonna um make sure please do not send any personal information, just the order number. And the email address you want me to send, email you the new the actual free ebook um, that you want me to email it to. So you know, just send me your email, which you know, and I'll send you another ebook. That way you get two for the price of one, right? So that's my gift to you guys for purchasing my ebook. So let's take a tour of the ebook, show you what it looks like. So let me stop screen sharing real quick and transition.
-hmm. All right, so we're back on my website and you're gonna click on purchase ebook. And what it's gonna do is take you to Amazon, okay? Popular platform, everybody's purchasing on Amazon, as you could imagine. And the ebook is going for $9.99. And you just click here to purchase, and then you're good to go. So the title of the ebook is Trading Titans, um, Conquering the Forex Market with Knowledge, Heartness, Heartnessing ex Expertise, Strategies, and Insight to Dominate the World of Currency Trading. Okay, so it's a really good ebook. Um, it's a few chapters, so you know, you get a chance to uh understand my mindset and how to approach the, the the forex market it's a great beginner's guide and i am excited to bring this to your attention so it's really good stuff and um, this is going to be one of many ebooks that i'm going to be writing in the near future so i'm really excited about that and, and then once you make that purchase you're going to get this other ebook absolutely free so let me go and click this here and do another screen share of this one Okay, and then after I make these announcements, we'll go ahead and do, go, go on the charts and everything. But this is the other ebook you'll get, uh, the 10 Essentials of Forex Trading, the Rules for Turning Patterns into Profit. So it's a really good ebook. Um, so you get two for the price of one. So I'm really excited to bring that to you guys' attention. And I look forward to sharing this information with you guys. So, all right, so go back here. Well done. Okay, so we'll go back to my website, which is right. Here. Okay, and um, another thing I want to share with you guys that um, once you start becoming profitable or learning how to trade, you might might want to consider um, becoming a funded trader. I've actually started my journey in becoming a funded trader. I've actually passed two funding accounts and I was able to, I was awarded two live accounts um, by using a, a copy, a Forex copy trader. And each account is $5,000 each. So I'm really excited about that particular journey that I'm with, with this funding, um, becoming a funded trader. Basically what happens is when you click on this link here, it'll take you to a um, company that will challenge you, right? Um, you purchase a funding challenge and you have to pass two phases. Phase one, you have to earn, I believe, $400. Phase, phase two, you have to earn $250. And then once you prove to them that you can increase your account, no matter what size account you decide to choose, you could do um, a $5,000 account. Um, but there's multiple evaluations that you can choose okay um but i started with the five thousand dollar account and they're having a great deal right now where you buy one you get one free for 50 percent off which is kind of cool so if you ever wanted to practice your trading and want to go this route because the reason why I'm, I'm a lot of people are going this route including myself is because um there's funds there that they'll once you become a funded trader and you pass the challenges they'll give you the five thousand dollar live account and then they'll do a profit split with you, okay? They'll do a profit split with you that when you can prove that you can grow the account, um, at the end of 14 days, right, uh, you can share in the profits. So if you grew the account um, by $1,000, so you got a $5,000 account and you grew it to $1,000, they'll share in the profit with you. They'll take up their portion and then you'll get a portion um, every 14 days. So that's pretty cool. So definitely do your due diligence, um, read up about how everything works. Um, and then, you know, if you want to take a challenge, take the challenge. There's different challenges from $5,000 all the way to $200,000. So you can definitely um, take advantage of the opportunity to become a funded trader and then share in the profits with the actual uh, company that's providing this. And they're also giving a free um, young millionaires mastering the art of preparatory Preparatory, second, so whipping up on my words. Sorry about that. Trading, so you could definitely um take a look at that as well. Full disclosure, I am also an affiliate of this program. Um, so if you decide to sign up for a challenge, there's a commission that I'll earn by just sharing this to with you guys. So that's full disclosure. 
All right, so let me um, log in and show you um, proof that I pass um, one of the challenges here, because I always like to share proof, because if you don't learn from me, you want to probably ask, well, did you pass the challenge? So let me see if I can go ahead and um, I think I've already logged in and I'll share that with you guys real quick here. All right, hold on one minute, do another screen share. Okay, so I'm logged into the back office. When you become a, when you purchase a challenge, you'll have access to this back office. Um, and then here you can take a look at your challenges and see how you're doing, right? So they'll send you some credentials. They'll send you your um, account number and you'll be trading under the platform MetaTrader 5. And then you include that onto MetaTrader 5, your account number, password, and all that good stuff. And then what it does when you place a trade, they'll track your trades in the back office and see how well you're doing. All right, so this is basically a $5,000 challenge. You're looking at a graph here and it says status passed. All right, and if you look at the summary, um, they give you um, max daily loss. So if you lose $250, you failed, okay? Um, max, that's the daily loss, but the total loss is 500. So if you get close, and this is a quick tip, if you get close to 250 and you think you're losing the account and you have lost, let's say $200 for the day, stop trading. It resets the next 24 hours. So stop trading and it resets. And then all you have to worry about is not losing $500 maximum in the account, okay? And then, um, yeah, so you could try to pass the challenge, but don't lose no more than $500. Um, so as you can see, I pass all that. Profit target was $400. I made $404.76 passed. So all you got to do is make over $400 and then stop trading. You have a max trading days of four days. You got to trade every day for, um, max for four days in order to get awarded the second phase. This is phase one. And then you get awarded. You got to do the second phase. The second phase, you got to grow the account to 250. And then once you grow the account to 250, you pass again. And then they give you the live account. Okay, so this I just wanted to share this with you guys. These are the pairs that are trading during the session. This is um, pretty much profit and losses of each trade that I took in this journey. Okay, and um, so yeah, so this is basically, and then you get you get once you pass phase one, they'll send you credentials for phase two, and then you pass phase two, and then you get a live account. Okay, so I have two live accounts. I'm really excited about that, and now I'm going to be trading. Um, live on those two five thousand dollar accounts, and then once I increase those um, accounts to a substantial amount, it could be anywhere from five hundred, a thousand, two hundred thousand, three thousand, five thousand, whatever the case may be. As long as I don't violate any of the rules, maximum drawdowns, um, the the account will stay live. Okay, and then they'll share the profits with me. Uh, the profits are pretty much eighty twenty. Okay, uh, going forward, if you go to the um, the Q and A portion over here. It says Q and A. You could learn a lot about the profit split, um, so you could definitely take advantage of that. So before you start a challenge, definitely practice, practice, practice on a demo. And when you're profitable on a demo, then start a challenge. I encourage you to do that. But again, do your due diligence. Everything that I recommend is just for, you know. You know, sharing purposes. I'm not recommending that you do it. I'm just inviting you to take advantage of the journey to become a profitable forex trader, um, profit from trader. So this is one of the avenues. That instead of putting your own money into a live account, why not, you know, allow these companies to uh, give you funds to trade and then they share the profits with you. So that's, that's just another avenue you can take. So my goal is to uh, eventually get. Fifty to hundred thousand dollars under under management, so to speak, to trade with with these prop firms. Um, the industry is trade changing, and a lot of people are taking advantage of these prop firms so that way they could actually make money and going in this route. But you got to be a skilled trader. You got to be um, consistent, and you have to be active because, as you can see, there's a minimum of four days that you have to trade in order to pass the trading. Um, the the challenge and so on and so forth. So you could do a search on YouTube to learn more about 
prop firm trading and what that entails. I'll be doing future videos and showing you guys how to pass these prop firm challenges. But if you watch my trading videos, there's no reason why you can't pass um, going forward. You just have to practice, practice, practice and um, have a trading plan and implement your trading plan. And always, always set a stop loss because the best way to pass these prop firm challenges is to set a stop loss. Okay, manage your money. As long as you don't blow the account by losing $250 in one day or $250 or $500 maximum to total, you'll they'll allow you to maintain the account. So that's one thing you got to keep in mind. So I wanted to share that with you. So going back to my website, um, you can do click on the links to do some due diligence on that. There's two of them available on my site. There's this one here and there's this one here. See which one's better for you and just practice going forward. If you're new to Forex trading, go ahead and click on free Forex trading here and it'll take you to baby pips. And it's like a, a classroom setting, e-classroom setting. You start at kindergarten and you can go all the way up to graduate. And then um, you can learn how to trade with this platform here. I'll be creating my own... Um, course so i'm in the works of doing that right now so look out for that i'll be putting a link on that on my website um get yourself a journal gonna need to take notes books i recommend this will also take you to amazon so you can start reading on some books uh forex factory this is for fundamental trading uh understand what's going on in the currency world gdp tax you know employment reports all that has a lot to do has a lot to do with trading um, because you don't want to trade when there's an announcement, because if you do, it may blow your account. So this this is a great way to find out. Based on the Forex Factory, they give you a calendar of events and when all the major announcements are going to be happening um, pertaining to the, the, the pair that you're actually trading. So if you're trading GBP, which is British pound versus the US dollar, you want to know what kind of announcements that that country is going to be giving before you set a trade. Because if you're in a trade and they make an announcement about taxes, about GDP, and it's negative um, negative news, and you're in a buy, it'll pretty much go in the opposite direction, and they may blow out your account. So that's one thing you guys got to keep in mind. So let's jump into the charts real quick. There might be a two-part series of this trading, but um, because I took a lot of time to share some exciting information i shared with you my ebook shared it with you some fun you know, becoming a funded trader um and then definitely just bookmark my website to, to learn more about what i'm all about and what i bring to the table and if you need a forex broker this is one of the brokers that i use you could do some due diligence on them as well all right so from here we're gonna click on trading view again bookmark my page um when you click on that that link will take you to trading view now trading view quick commercial you can do a um a, you can open up an account with them um to avoid the ads that's optional but it's free to become a trading view member and basically we're going to go to products on top click on there and then you can click on super charts it'll take you to the charts and this is where you actually want to plan your trades. Before you actually place a trade, you want to chart up your charts, right? You want to mark up your charts. You want to make sure that you would, you have a plan in place before you actually take a trade. So let's go ahead and uh, analyze GBPUSD today and see what's going on. Okay? So... Basically, now, this is what I was talking about. When you see a long candle like this, right, appear on your chart, it's because some news happened. Apparently, this was positive news. So whenever you see something like this, okay, and you went to Forex Factory and, he, and they gave you the calendar, they told you it's going to be some news, came out, whatever it's GDP or taxes, whatever, what's going on in the currency world in that country, Okay, apparently this was positive news and everybody started buying, 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 right? Because the white candles are buy, buy candles. Um, the black candles are sell candles. So 
positive news happened. So if you were in a cell thinking, okay, I'm going to get in in this market up here. Okay. I'm going to get in this market up here. All right. Place the sell order right here. And you're thinking you're going to write it all the way down. All of a sudden, some news came into play. Boom. Right. Probably would have hit your stop loss or it will, you know, because you're like, oh, man, I wasn't aware that some news came out. So that's why Forex Factory is really important. So definitely go to my website, click on Forex Factory to learn more about Forex Factory. All right. So basically, um, when you're always looking at the chart, what did I tell you guys in the past? You want to, okay, do a top-down analysis. So we're going to start with the weekly chart. We're going to do a top-down analysis, okay? So we want to know what's going on in this chart for the week. So I'm going to take off all these indicators so we can have a clear chart. Okay. So as you can see, I've already marked up some key areas that I'm looking at, right? Some key areas. So what are these key areas? Basically, I'm looking at the low. Okay, the lowest point of the market. And then I'm looking at you know what's going on here so um i've always told you guys to learn how to um, recognize patterns right the first pattern i taught you guys a while back if not go to my youtube channel to learn more about patterns is the head and shoulders pattern as you can see there's a head and shoulders pattern right here that i marked up so i'm right at the neck of the pattern okay but if you took your head and shoulders pattern and you marked it up you can say okay uh, over here, there's a left shoulder, there's a neck, and bring it down. And then now, you create the right shoulder over here, bring it down. Okay, so this is a head and shoulders pattern right here. You mark that up, and now you know that whenever you see a head and shoulders pattern, it's a reversal pattern because it was going up here, right? Then the head and shoulders pattern presented itself and all of a sudden it started to reverse and go the opposite direction so when you see a head and shoulders pattern on the top of the trend it's a reversal so you want to get ready to sell the market going down okay so if you miss getting in at the right shoulder you want to wait for it to retest the neckline okay or the right shoulder which it did over here and then try to get in for a sell um on on going down okay all right, and then when you open this up, you'll notice there's some candles that you need to learn to identify. Maybe put them on a cue card, maybe put them in your notebook, in your journal, and write these candles, and the names of these candles down so you can identify key candles. So right here was going up, right? And then you have um, this candle right here, which is a doji. So make sure you understand what a doji candle is. Because as it was going up and it presented a doji, it's telling you, okay, this is a reversal candle. And this doji candle tells you that it's going to go the opposite direction. Okay. So it's incongruent with the head and shoulders pattern. Okay. Because it's got to come back to retouch the shoulder. Okay. And then continue its journey going back down. Okay. Another way you can tell that this is going down is that it broke these levels over here. Okay, if you put a horizontal ray, there's one ray that goes there and there's one ray that goes here. Okay, so right here, it broke these levels. Okay, because what happens is if it was going to continue its uptrend, it would have never broken these levels. It would have came to these levels and bounced off and continue its up uptrend. But the minute it breaks these levels here, you're looking at a downward trend. Okay, because it's got to come down, close below the line that you set right there. Okay, and it's got to come back up or retouch either the, the right shoulder or the neck and then bounce off. And then how do you know it's going to bounce off? Well, you saw that doji chain candle, right? You saw that doji candle. So now you know that we're in a reversal and all you're looking for is to do in this market right now is to sell it. Like sell orders. Okay, Let's click sell orders. If you would have got in over here, you set your stop loss right above. Okay, I'm going to show you what it set your stop loss right above the right shoulder. And you set your TP 
based on the short position TP. So if you would have got in over here when you saw the um when you saw that doji candle, you got in over there, you want to set it for a, a one to three ratio. One to three ratio. That's it. Okay, put a sell order, put it set it for a one to three ratio, and wait for it to come down and hit your take profit. So that's where you set your take profits are down here. Now, will it, could it, should it? The market doesn't owe us anything. It may bounce off these levels and go straight back up. Okay, so you got to keep that in mind. But as long as you set your stop loss, right? Okay, and it reverses on you, you're not blowing out your account. That's why we said stop losses. Manage and protect your money with stop losses. If you set your TP one to three, one to two point five ratio, whatever the case may be, and it hits your TP, you just made a profit. Now, the minute you find out that it's going to about to hit your TP, you might want to just bring your stop loss to break even, right? Bring your stop loss to break even. That if it reverses on you, you don't lose any money. You protected your principal. All right. So that's another strategy you could take. All right. So make sure. Or set a trailing stop loss, okay? Or you know what I mean by trailing stop loss is if you if it hasn't hit your TP yet and you feel that it's going to go lower, right? You can set a stop loss right here and it continue its journey, right? You could stretch out your TP and continue its journey. It may come down to these levels here. You never know, right? But if you have a trailing stop loss, you're in profit. You secured your bag, okay? You secured your bag. And it may even go lower. It's another strategy. It may come down to these levels. You never know. Okay, you never know. Then you could have, you, you move your stop loss and lower. Maybe set it over here now. Now all of a sudden, if it comes and hits your stop loss, you made all this green profit right here. That's another strategy you can take. Okay, so my I have eight minutes left in the session, so I'm going to try to share with you a little bit more information. So that's basically on the weekly. So I shared everything that you need to not learn on the weekly. You'll do the same exact thing on the daily, the same exact thing on the four hour, the same exact thing on the one hour, but you want to enter on either on the 15 minute or enter your trade on the 15 minute or enter your trade on the five minute. Okay. Because everything happens incongruent with the higher time frames. So in the 15 minute, Basically, you just want to look for a head and shoulders pattern. Okay. All right. So you've already saw it on the weekly. Okay. You're going to want to look for it on the 15 minute. Okay. On the 15 minute. So we could see something developing here, and then it came back and retouched the, the shoulder. You see what I'm saying? And then you, you took your sell trade down here. That's one way to look at it. Where is it not moving? Hold on. I need to delete that. All right. So. Or you can see a head and shoulders being developed right here. Okay. A head and shoulders being developed right here. So all you have to do is mark it up. Left shoulder. Head. Okay. And wait for it to create the right shoulder. Gotta be patient, right? Wait for it to create the right shoulder and then take a trade going down. Okay. So you got to do that. If you miss the right shoulder entry, you wait for the retest, retouch of the right shoulder. You mark that up really quick. And so you wait for it to come up, create the right shoulder, put a sell trade right in this area. Okay. And then what's going to do, it's going to go down and then come back. If you miss entering the trade over here, it'll come back and retest the right shoulder to continue its journey, just like you saw on the weekly. Okay. And all you got to do is be patient enough to, you know, wait for that to happen on your chart. Okay. 
That's all you really got to do. Okay. So that is the head and shoulders pattern. The, the reverse happens on an inverted head and shoulders pattern. When you're on a down, when the, the trend is lower on the on the um the base, on the bottom part of the trend, if you, if you analyze and see a inverted head and shoulder, then the actual um trend is gonna change and start trending upward. Okay. So hopefully you guys got some value out of this quick session. Um, if you did, leave a like on the YouTube channel. Uh, maybe leave a comment. Maybe also put in your questions. See what kind of questions you, you you know you could write in your questions in the comment section. And then in future videos like this, I'll address your questions so we could address and talk about, um, or, or I can give you an answer based on my my perspective of how I read the charts and how I approach the market and so on and so forth. So. Um, with, with that being said, let me see how much time I have left. I got about four minutes left. Let me go to stop sharing here real quick and uh, address any questions anybody might have. So you can unmute yourself um, and ask a question, or if you will, unmute yourself and tell me what you like most about what you saw today. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm still working on that head and shoulders, but I I, I like that uh that strategy, man. Excellent, excellent. And this is your name, Edward from Los Fresnos, Texas. There we go. I want you to introduce yourself, ladies and gentlemen. This is one of my premium students, Edward. He's always on here every week, and he's excited about the journey that he's having with the Forex market. Um, he's going to be a multimillionaire. I kid you not. He's going to be a multimillionaire. He's been taking copious notes. He's been practicing, and he's been actually asking some great questions. And I've been, you know, I've been applauding his his study habits every step of the way. He also shares with me some of his trades. We have a private chat on Facebook, and he shares with me his trades. And he's been profitable. He's been doing really good, and I'm really excited about um, his journey in the Forex market. But thank you so much for that input, Edward. Yeah, the head and shoulders pattern is one to know because it normally happens at the beginning on the top of the trend because once the uptrend is exhausted and it can't go any higher, the sellers step in. The sellers step in. That's why the head and shoulders pattern starts. And then once the head and st the, the sellers step in, what happens is it reverses the market and trends downward. And then that way you can actually set your, your trades for sales and profit going down. Great thing about the Forex market is you can make money going up and you can make money going down. Okay. And the Forex market's open 24 hours a day. Um, so I want to say six days a week opens up on Sunday and uh, closes on Friday. Um, I don't recommend trading on Sunday because it's just getting started. Uh, maybe analyzing your charts on Sunday is a good day to just do some that on that analysis and then start trading on Monday. My trading habit, um, my trading hours are Monday mornings at the New York Open, which is at nine thirty. So I'll, I'll trade the. If you haven't watched my uh, one minute strategy on the US 30. I'll put a link in the description so you can watch that. Thank you guys for the likes. Thank you guys for the views. It's been getting a lot of traction and I do appreciate that. Um, but that one minute strategy happens at 9 30 a.m. and it also happens at 9 at 3 50 p.m. So I'm going to share that another video with you that you if you miss 9 30, you can also catch it at 3 50 p.m. before the market closes. Um, so that's that's another video in itself that I gotta share with you guys. But thanks for the likes. Thanks for the comments. That's been great. I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy that I put that up there for you guys. You guys can watch. Um, and then from 930, that one minute strategy, I do that every day. Sometimes I take a trade. Sometimes I do not. It all depends on the volume of that day. And then from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., that's when I place a trade for that hour. Okay. It'll probably be a, um, an hour trade um, because I do a top-down analysis to see if I can hold the trade for an hour to see if I can be profit within that hour or I might scalp and take multiple trades within that hour to, to, to stay in profitability. Um, that's how I was able to pass the funding challenge, phase one and two. 
um, by scalping um, during that 10 to 11 hour. And then again, I come back into the market um, from 2 p.m. to about 4 p.m. I, I come back into the market and see if I can find any opportunities to get into a trade during that session, during that time. But between the off times, I'm either working out, going to the gym, either cleaning up my apartment, whatever the case is. I'm active during that those times, and I jump back to the markets during the time. I'm a full-time trader, and I'm really glad I have an opportunity to do that. I retired from my job, and now I just do this full-time. And um, yeah, if you guys need help in any way.